I have been getting the same question a lot lately. For example, Carla Carla says, I hate my granite composite sink. It was a dark brown color when I bought it seven years ago. Now and for maybe three or four years, it is a very ashy and white looking. It is very dull and an eyesore. I can't wait until I'm able to replace it with stainless steel. Or believe me who says, how do you clean the haze from composite granite? Or thank you, I've been looking into composite sinks. They are beautiful. For a second there, I thought you were going to prize me one or or give me a discount. Uh, good luck on your remodel. And Kim Fields, who says, you didn't say anything about the maintenance of the composite sinks. Are they easier to keep clean than the stainless? I love the look of a clean stainless steel sink, but unless you take the time and trouble to wipe it dry after every use, you don't get to see that look very often. Also, that copper sink looked like hammered metal. Does that make water drops harder to see? Well, we're going to dive into all of that right now. Welcome back Remodel Lights to another episode of Quick Tip Tuesday. I'm Dave with Remodel Media and since 2005 I have helped people put together kitchens, baths, outdoor kitchens and various other home renovation projects. My mission here is to help people eliminate regret and I do that by bringing the latest tips, tricks and products to you here every week. So if you haven't done so already make sure you hit like and subscribe and share it with all your friends and ring the bell so you never miss an episode. So this one goes out to all the folks asking, how do I clean my composite granite sink? Now, if it is a true composite granite, something like a Blanco Sil granite or a Franchi granite or an LKE granite, then chances are very, very good that all you really need to do is clean it with soapy water or now and again. Now, in various parts of the country, for example, here in California, we have extremely hard water. Uh, we're at the very end of the water supply, so we get the coffee pot sludge that's left over. Lots of minerals and a lot less water than somebody further up the pipeline. And as such, we definitely need to clean our sinks, no matter what they are, uh, more frequently and more often than we would if we were somewhere else. Uh, somewhere that had more pure, clean water. Uh, less minerals. Now that being said, there are some things that you can do. You can use cleaners. Uh, the cleaner that I prefer is a cleaner called Barkeeper's Friend. You can find it at the grocery store. It looks like Comet, but it's just less chemically abrasive. However, if Barkeeper's Friend is just not harsh enough for you, you need something with a little more oomph. I actually am a big fan of using vinegar, specifically 50-50 uh, vinegar and water. Uh, one of the things that you can do is to plug your sink, pour some vinegar over the bottom of it, add a little bit of water, and let it sit overnight. See if that helps clean up the water spots. But remember, just like any other material, it does need to be kept clean. It does need maintenance. It's just that you can go longer between cleanings without it showing, and it's very difficult to scratch, and it's it looks the nicest, the longest, with the least amount of effort. Now, Kim, you asked a very specific question about copper sink, hammered metal, does it make the water drops easier to see or harder to see? The short answer is anything with a darker finish is going to have a higher likelihood of seeing water spots, specifically calcium and magnesium and things like that in the water supply. So, I want you to keep that in mind when we're looking at copper sinks. The other thing about copper sinks is they will turn green around the drain and they will have high spots and dark spots. Just like a copper pen, if you go into your pocket or in your purse and you find a copper penny that is from, you know, 1960, you can see that that copper penny has aged uh, and it has become a dark brown versus a copper coin copper coin or copper penny that was minted in 2020 is still brand new and shiny. The reason for that is copper oxidizes as it's touched with, you know, skin oils and all these kinds of things. You know, so people need to understand what that material is and what it's going to do. And if I were to leave copper sitting in water, it would turn green. Now, as for you, MR, what kind of sink do you want? I'll see if I can get it for you. No promises, but I'll give it a shot. 
You looking for a single bowl, a double bowl? You looking for undermount or drop in? I'll reach out to my reps and see what I can do. And that's all we've got for you today for today's Quick Tip Tuesday. Let me know in the comments below what kind of sink do you have? What kind of sink do you wish you had? Go ahead and click here for more videos. Go ahead and click here to subscribe. And as I said before, share this with all your friends and I'll see you in the next one.